Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Uh, if you hadn't seen it, I did a video essay recently about how people say that gaming is like, um, uh, like dead and stuff. At the end of that one, I said that, oh, my next video essay is gonna be Sonic related. It's still going to be Sonic related. Like, the next one that I do is still going to be about Sonic. But, oh shit. The one that I do after that one is primarily gonna be focused on Devil May Cry. Like, the series as a whole, but not in a retrospective kind of way. It, it's literally going to be about how the series forced me to be better at games. And I, that, that was like really true for me in particular, because, well, I mean, not to give away too much of the, uh, the video essay, because I have started, um, writing down the spark notes and whatever for it, and I'm going to be taking, uh, the visual footage from this stream in particular and using that in the video, because I have to play... I gotta play one, I gotta play three, uh, gonna play four, I'm not gonna include two because two is just too fucking easy. It's gonna be uh, mostly about how, oh, well, you know, this is a game that gives you, like, a ton of tools to do, like, cool and fancy crazy shit with, and how, you know, with the style system as a whole, it's like, hey, do this shit and, and like, really cool things will happen, and you get more orbs to do um more things with and you get your abilities and all that stuff and then you got stuff like the fucking the jump canceling and the animation canceling and how had i not played the series i'd probably be a lot worse at games not to say that i'm some fucking giga chad god at games as a whole though there are some games that i am really really good at um, had I not gotten into the series when I did, which, and I've, and I've told this on stream before, the only reason I'm into this series, period, is because when the original release of DMC3 was out, when it was just Dante's Awakening, not the special edition, where, you know, blah, 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 normal mode is actually Japanese hard mode, you've heard the story a billion fucking times, um... My cousins were unable to uh, beat Mission 2 with the, um, with the, uh, I don't remember the name of the exact enemy, but it was the boss with the scythe that eventually became a regular fucking enemy and whatever, and they just couldn't beat the little ugly bitch, and... I was like, oh, let me play. Mind you, I'm like, not even 12 yet. And I was like, ah, I can do it. And then, like, after I learned what each individual button did, I was like, oh, this, this won't, can't be that bad. And I beat it first try. And they were, like, eternally confused. And I was literally just pressing buttons and shit. But, um, when I got to Virgil, then I was like, oh, shit, I, I can't beat this motherfucker. And I was met with the fucking, uh, um, the easy mode is selectable shit. And I was, like, personally offended by that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And then I started, like, a whole different save file. And I kept trying over and over and over, trying to figure out how to beat that son of a bitch. And then when I beat Virgil 1... Oh man, I thought I I thought I was hot shit. I thought I was him. <laughs> I was gassed the fuck up. And uh from there that led me down the rabbit hole of there are all these games out here that I can play that I should like take the time to learn how to not necessarily master, but like not suck at, right? Like uh Um I have a video where I talk about skill issue 
and people being unwilling to use games and um, use the things that games have that they give you to be better at them. And I was talking about in that video, if I remember right, I was talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake and how a lot of people were saying that Remake was like really hard when it wasn't and complaining that this and this and that and through me talking to them it was just them actually just not playing the game and using what the game told you that you had access to and using that to like knock 7 remake and I was like nah bro that's not how that works and then that was like a really long drawn out argument in Final Fantasy 14 yeah I had that video and it's just like if you don't use what the game gives you then that's the rawest form of skill issue but anyway like I said not to spoil too much about the Devil May Cry video essay most of it is just gonna be how and why it taught me to be better at games and I'll use the knowledge from that to get better at all the games that I play and shit like that when it comes to to uh, tutorials and games and stuff like that, uh, a lot of them do low key be lacking. I'm I'm not even gonna hold you on that. But it's the people that willingly ignore said tutorials that want to complain about this and complain about that. Like uh, I know that. For 7 Remake, in particular, that tool was just like, hey, this does this, that does that, use this, use that, and you'll profit and be fine. And, you know, gone are the days of, I guess, PS1, PS2 era, Nintendo 64 era tutorials, where they go, like, in depth for their mechanics. Hold still. Well, they go in depth for their mechanics and do their job to make sure that you know what the fuck you're doing before you play the goddamn game. And these days, when it comes to tutorials and whatnot, it really is bare bones as fuck. Like, you know, I grew up during an era where, you know, you were encouraged to read everything that a game would give to you and. You know, they encourage experimentation and this and this and that. And so, like, these days, if I get into a new game, I'm not going to be, like, shit out of water and, and struggling because I don't know how this and this and that works. My whole thing is experimentation when it comes to the crazy shit and figuring out what I can and cannot do to make more crazy shit happen, you know? Hold still. And I just think that's really fun. And a lot of people really do try to suck all the fun out of games these days. And whether it be for the sake of trying to get it done like fast or just to have something to say about it or whatever the goddamn crazy reason would be. When people get to like struggling hardcore in games and then you ask them like, did you do this or did you do that or did you try to use this did you try to do that and then the answer is no they can't really complain at that point anymore because it's like you're willingly ignoring the tools that the game gives you to use you don't have any room to complain anymore like you really don't and then like as you said the other problem is that a lot of Japanese developed games these days do unfortunately throw all their tutorial stuff in a menu and most people don't take the time to read said menus so I don't know as an example you could have a, a combo that goes like triangle triangle square circle and you do that and then it works but then that's like the only thing that insert hypothetical player he would do and then they're like, why don't I have any other combos? Or why aren't there any other combo strings? And then, you know, let's let's just say they get curious enough to go to that menu. I'm like, oh, look at all this shit that I didn't bother reading. It's just like how 
how um when Devil May Cry 5 came out and a lot of people were trying to rag on and harp on the game because they didn't find it to be very fun and they thought the dynamic um, music system wasn't very fair. Come to find out, if you play the fucking game and do different things than the one, two, three, four the entire goddamn time, oh hey, the game will be fun. You'll get to hear like the whole damn song. Possibly, assuming you aren't getting hit and shit, and you're being fucking cool with it and stuff. And I remember plenty of review from people coming on like, Oh, well, I I didn't like this, and I didn't like that, and the game is boring, and style systems and games aren't very fun. Meanwhile, every person with a working brain is like, You are literally not playing the game the way the game is meant to be played. That is your fault. And you got nobody to blame but yourself, clown. People would often complain that, oh, this is too expensive and that's too expensive. Again, staying on top of the Devil May Cry 5. Like, getting your skills is, they cost too much and you don't get enough orbs. And it's like, play the game. Do something different than this the whole time. You know, maybe, maybe press square here and there. Maybe, you know, hold down the square button here and there. Maybe, maybe press circle. Maybe grab something. Just do something. Fuck. <laughs> and, like, that that really led to a lot of people just, uh, just trying to harp on it and complain that the game isn't being played for them. Because that's another problem, too, when it comes to, like, skill issue. A lot of people are too accustomed to games that literally play themselves and shit and when you have a group of people that quite often just play games for themselves and whatever when you got something like a devil may cry or a bayonetta or a metal gear rising or fuck even a goddamn god hand which came out in i believe 2005 on the ps2 like you get something like that and people are still like tweaking the fuck out talking about ah oh, it's so hard it was like no actually just look you know use your brain use your fingers you have them <laughs> and like I, I remember i had a conversation with someone one time this was when uh devil may cry 4 special edition came out so you could play as virgil in devil may cry 4 and whatever and they were like Oh my god, Virgil is so hard to play. And I'm like, no. Explain, please. And pretty much, they were complaining about the concentration system. And the concentration system is just like, don't whiff your attacks, don't run, don't get hit, stay target locked, don't do no fucking crazy shit that Virgil wouldn't do in a fight, right? And... Because they, for starters, and this this isn't to shame anyone that played uh, Devil May Cry 4 on easy mode. I'm just talking about this person in particular. Because they just played the game on easy mode and didn't really have anything to work towards as far as improvement and whatnot. When they got to playing as Virgil on Devil Hunter being normal mode, they were like... Oh, why, why isn't the game just, like, falling apart at the seams? And mind you, Virgil literally breaks Devil May Cry 4 in a good way. But he literally breaks the fucking game. And so, they were giving me their explanations about why this isn't working, and why that isn't working, and etc, etc, etc. I was like, oh, okay, so... You have to change your play style and fight like Virgil would, you know. And they even screenshotted to me on Discord. So I'm like, okay, let me see what you're doing. And like I said, they were running around, whiffing attacks, not engaging with the enemy. And I was like, you have to stop running around because if you just run around like a chicken with the egg cut off, of course the game isn't going to feel fun. Of course the most broken fucking character gameplay-wise 
in context of Devil May Cry 4, isn't going to feel like you're playing the most broken fucking character. And they proceeded to refuse to listen to me. And I was like, okay, well, if you're not going to listen to try and improve, you're going to not have fun playing the goddamn game. You have to use the other combos. You have to use your tactics. You have to use your fucking devil trick. You have to use your sword. You gotta. You have to use the character's toolkit in order to enjoy playing the game. And if you're not gonna do that, then either stop complaining or get better. <laughs> At that point, th there's really no other option to take. Truly, and yeah, yeah, like you said, with with character action games. You, 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 there is no, oh, I just pick it up and I'm good. No, you got to practice with this shit. Just like how, like, Kingdom Hearts, for example, it took me a long time to consider myself good at Kingdom Hearts games because when, you know, YouTube was there, I'm watching other people play the game, but how the fuck are they doing that? How are they doing this? How are they doing that? So I watch their video, and I go back and do it myself. I'm like, oh, yo, that's crazy. And stuff like 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 Dynasty Warriors. Like, those are fucking Muso Horde fighting games, but there are ways to be good at those, too. There are ways to make those look crazy fucking cool, too. But, unfortunately, a lot of the problem is that people don't want to take the time to actually improve. And, uh, let me see. I hate it when people complain about games being too hard, when it just takes some skill. A lot of gamers like games that take skill. <clears throat> and the thing that games that take skill shouldn't exist despite a ton of people liking games like that. Shaming, shaming happens from both sides, though. People who say people are, aren't are bad for not being skilled enough. People who say games are bad just for taking skill, but both groups are wrong. Stop complaining when a game isn't just always designed for you. Stop gatekeeping people who don't want to put in that time and investment. If you don't put the effort in, you can't give an accurate review of the game. My thoughts exactly. Like, e even, e even if we shift the skill issue over to something like a turn-based game, right? I have seen people for many, 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 many years complain that the final fantasies one through excuse me through 10 were just like really really hard and um they weren't like accommodating or even like the mario and luigi turn-based games or a fire emblem shut the fuck up i'm talking oh wait that doesn't work i have to use the super version of that um like shit like that i've seen people just have cosmic fucking breakdowns at turn-based games and be like, oh my god, these are hard. And it's like, what are you talking about? If you pay the fuck attention, it won't be hard. I'm tripping out about a lot of turn-based games. And the problem with that is that a lot of people just see turn-based games as press one command the whole game and that's how you win. Spoiler alert, no. And, like, even even some of the fucking, like, like, Persona and Shin Megami Tensei and stuff like, like, the Trails games. People were just one-buttoning the whole way through. Yeah, just like that, as, as if it was a Pokemon game, and then wondering why they keep seeing the fucking game over screen. And it's like, hmm, maybe if you stopped one button the whole game, maybe you'll win. Maybe you can win a fight. Maybe you can win a boss fight. But, again, that at that point, that's asking people to actually use their goddamn brains. And, uh, the, the average gamer is not all too willing to do that.